Hi YouTubers, um, Andy M6JKA, um, back after a little while, I haven't done a video for a while, so I thought I'd um, quickly show you this. Um, this is the Hytera Bluetooth speaker microphone, it's model number SM27W1. Um, basically, this is a really nice bit of kit. What it does is it allows you to completely remote control your MD655 Hytera mobile radio or a MD785. Um, mobile radio um, I think it also works on the X1P I haven't tried it yet but um, basically yeah you can completely control the radio from this microphone as well as it being a, a you know a really good speaker microphone um, you can control uh, volume channel um, the zone as well um, so you can completely use the radio um, which is what I'm doing here uh, you know by not actually sort of being anywhere near the radio so if you look around in the back i've just temporarily got the um 655 in the back um and basically what you've got is this little um oh, sorry this is a bit awkward but um basically the uh what you do is you put in this ada01 i think it's called it's a bluetooth adapter um and it goes into the microphone socket of the um, the high tier MD655 or 785, whatever mobile radio you've got. Um, and then this actually allows you to pair the microphone, um, the speaker microphone, to the radio, like a normal Bluetooth device. I think you can also actually um, pair other Bluetooth devices to it as well. Um, it's got a button on it. When you when you actually push it, you can, you can actually transmit. Um, the purpose of that, I'm not 100% sure, but... Basically, um, that's how it works, and you see it. It's very, very straightforward to set up. You just literally put this in the radio, um, and then as soon as you turn on the microphone, it just pairs straight away. So, wherever you are, you can just literally just, you know, near the radio, you can just turn the microphone on, um, and it will just um, link up to the radio, which is mega cool, in my opinion. Um, battery life on this seems to be fantastic. It's been on for two days. Um, and it just seems to just continuously run. Um, I haven't run out of power of it at all. It's got on the back like a charging um, accessory and, and actually what comes with the radio is like a, a clip which you could install in the car and when when you basically clip it onto the onto the car it has like a like a USB um, connector on the bottom of the clip which makes contact with these so when you basically you know put it into the clip it starts charging you don't have to do that if you don't want to wreck your new car um like me you can just basically um you know just charge it with the, the normal micro usb um adapter which doesn't come with it but you can just use any any sort of phone one it works um so that's that nice thing about this as well which on the md655 you have a similar type of mic to this but it's obviously tethered to the radio by a, your normal um your normal uh, mic lead but um with this it actually gives you alphanumeric and ID displays. So if we get the um, SL4000 there and just key up, yeah, yeah. you see you've got um, basically your your uh, your display comes up for the right, for the um, alias. So that is really good. You get the alias and you get the the group um, come up. Uh, now other people have asked about you know does it display the zone? And the channel alias, well, it's supposed to. Um, Hyteria UK say it's actually supposed to do that, but um, for some reason, I, I can't seem to get it to do that on the um, through the CPS by programming or, or making any changes. So I'm still into discussions. So you can hear a little bit there. But um, yeah, I'm still into sort of discussions with them about what, whether it's actually possible if there's a firmware uh, update which will allow you to, um, you know, to do that. Um, other things aside from that, you've got normal buttons, programmable buttons. Um, P1, I've set to just jump into my home channel. Um, long hold on that, I think I've got it sending out a text message just for a test. P2, I can turn the scan on and off, yeah, like that. And then also, um, if you hold it, I've got it set to low and high power, which you can just flick it back. So you've got some flexibility because obviously the 655 um, high tier hasn't really got a lot of, um, you know, hasn't really got any buttons on the mic. Um, it's got the same amount of buttons as this actually, but um, really, you know, you haven't got much way of, way of sort of, you know, playing with the radio. You can just basically use it. Um, 
you know, it's it's just just how it is. Um, other things, I mean, it's a nice, it's actually nice, nice to hold. Like the microphone's very, very nice to, um, you know, it's got, it's not too light, and it's actually quite, quite solid. You're not gonna, you're not gonna drop it. Um, if you did, you'd probably find that it would survive, um, no problem at all. But as I say, yeah, it's it works very, very well. Actually, funny thing is, when inside the house, I can actually um, connect to my car radio. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, the car's sort of parked out the front and um, when you basically just have this microphone just on the desk in the shack upstairs it just it just picks it up perfectly so you, it's quite quite interesting you almost got yourself like another radio <laughs> because you can use the one in the car if you need to um, which is which is very neat other thing I will say on the uh, 785 on the MD785, um, I don't know if anyone's noticed, but it what it does when you when you actually when it opens the audio circuit, you get a bit of a hiss. You get a bit of a like a, a hiss. If you're in a quiet place, you know this 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 sort of audio hiss is pretty loud. Actually, um, I think it's just how the thing was sort of obviously designed, and um, you know their audio amplifier circuits are, seem to be a bit noisy but obviously it's designed for cars so it probably wouldn't really be noticed there um but you know in a in a shack which is quite quiet um you can hit you can hear that and if you've got the volume turned right down it's actually pretty pretty quiet um so the hiss almost you know it's almost as loud as the voice um one thing i don't like about it because i do have to have i do turn my volume down on the radio quite a bit um so as not to disturb other people <laughs> in the house. Um, but, you know, saying that, when you use this microphone with the 785, it's completely and utterly silent. You know, you literally, all you hear is the voice. There's no hiss or noise. You can hear a bit of a, um, you know, like a like an audio amplifier sound. It's a very, 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 very slight whine. But, um you know it's it's a world different so using this on the md785 even indoors is actually a really really good idea um and it's sort of similar to your sl4000 where um this is fantastic just going off um subject you know slightly but um this is the same sort of thing it won't won't actually make any audio noise apart from the sounds obviously the 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 uh the incoming audio voices um, the transmissions so you know this is the pure digital age of transceivers where you know they're limiting the amount of analog that's actually happening um, in in the radio so you're not getting all these noises so that's a useful point about that if you were considering um, you know using this with an MD785 that does make a make a big big improvement in my opinion um, so yeah that's the um, that's the high tier microphone um, we are actually selling these on um, cloudstow.com on the in the high tier section. Um, I, I retail um, oh crikey, I can't even remember the price now. But I'll put it in the um, I'll put it in the in the description there. I, it's not the cheapest thing in the world, but to be honest, it it is actually a massive um, massive improvement. The great thing again, I just can't stress this point enough, is the fact that. I'm going to basically just mount that in the back in the boot, so you're not even going to see this radio at all, um, which is just going to mean that you you know you can pretty much just hide that radio away, um, you know actually mount that somewhere you're not even going to see like under the even under the boot floor you could put that radio, and then all you've got to do is grab this on your way to the car and just turn it on when you get inside the car, and you've got no absolutely no intrusive this in the car whatsoever you know you can just keep your car spanking um <clears throat> and uh, just continuously continue to use your radio and everything else so anyway I'm waffling on it's all all good with this one and um yeah i hope that gives you a bit of an insight into it uh listen to the audio if we can a little bit on here this is coming via a dv4 mini so
So he's mobile. This is coming from the DV4 Mini, so you know, right at this moment in time, that's a little bit can be a little bit flaky at times. Um, audio going into it, but um, anyway, there you go. That's giving you a bit of a view of it, um, and we will continue to uh, do some more videos.